Hey, what if I could tell you that you can grow your blog, YouTube, or podcast following by just simply asking one simple question? What is that question? And how does that even work? How is that even possible? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how it's possible. I'm gonna tell you why this works. I'm also gonna show you the exact step-by-step -step process so you can replicate exactly what I and many others have done that you aren't doing to help you get more results. And by results, I mean a bigger following, more exposure, more authority, more relationships in the space that you're in, and of course, business success too. So stick around. Now, before I get into the question and show you different examples of how this works, I have to tell you a quick story about how I launched a business that I started in 2014 called foodtrucker.com. Foodtrucker.com was an experimental website that I built back in 2014 to show people that you didn't have to be the expert in a topic in order to build a successful business. Now, this business became so successful that it started generating thousands of dollars a month through books that were written and sold. And recently, I sold this business in whole. And you can see a link in the upper right-hand corner or in the description for more information about how that came about. Now, probably the most common question I get is, well, how did you even build this business in the first place? Not being an expert in the space. I didn't have a food truck. I didn't even know the first thing about starting a food truck. However, I still built this successful business. How? Because I didn't pretend to know like I knew everything. You see, there's a lot of noise out there in the blogosphere, in the podcastosphere, or the YouTube sphere. And if you can help people filter that noise and see only the best stuff, well, you are going to gain an authority and get more exposure too. So that's what I did with Food Trucker. I played the role of expert curator and I launched this website with one single post that made it go viral almost on day one. It was a post where I played expert curator. I figured that if I could collect information from other food truckers and put them here on this website, that it would show that, well, there was some good information here on the website. So I chose a single question to reach out to people with who owned a food truck and ask them for a single answer. And that question was, what's one thing you wish you knew before you started a food truck? That's it. What's one thing you wish you knew? And if I could get answers from at least even like 20 food truck owners, that would be an amazing blog post to launch the website with and, uh, you know, hopefully it would make a splash. So I reached out to 250 food truck owners. I actually found their emails on their websites. You could have an assistant do it. There's even like programs out there that can help scrape the internet for emails as well. However you choose to reach out I would recommend reaching out in a more personal manner. I actually individually sent 250 emails. Yes, most of it was copy paste, but I did personalize it a little bit to tailor to their specific food truck. And after one week, guess how many people replied? Six, just six. And I was kind of disappointed. But as I once heard, and I soon learned, the fortune is in the follow-up. So a week later, I reached back out to the 244 people who did not reply and I asked them for one more chance to get in and featured here on this post. And guess what happened? I got 44 more replies in just two days. The fortune is in the follow-up, my friends. So I compiled all of their answers here on this blog post. 50 food truck owners speak out what I wish I'd known before starting my food truck. And it's simply just their answer, a little picture of their food truck, and then the next person, the next person, the next person, all the way down. And I want you to see how many comments this post has. 2,533 comments. This was seeing tens of thousands of visits per week after the launch of a brand new website. So why does this work so well? Well, I'll get to that in just a minute, but let me give you another example that I used on my other website, smartpassiveincome.com, where I teach business, and I was openly sharing this process about building this food truck business all along the way. That's what I do there. Here in episode 227, 15 entrepreneurs answer what I wish I'd known before starting my own business. It's a very common question. I'm gonna give you a list of different questions so it's not always the same and you can do this multiple times throughout your blogging, podcasting, or YouTube career and I promise you, it will help you grow your channel. This works because other people with different experiences are contributing all into this one massive post, article, podcast, or video. You get a collection, a wide array of different experiences all in one spot. Can you imagine how valuable that is, especially for somebody, in the case of the food trucker website, who is looking to start a food truck? Wouldn't you wanna know what other existing food truck owners went through and what they wish they'd known instead? That would be highly valuable, for sure. Remember, you're playing expert curator here. And this also worked because more than half of those food truck owners ended up sharing the post too. Now they were sharing it with their patrons, so it didn't really have a big effect. But with this here, as you can see, 15 entrepreneurs answer, and we feature the different entrepreneurs here. Most all of these people shared this and got more exposure for me and this episode. And on top of that, if you do this even with people that you don't know, guess what? 
Now you're building a relationship with them at the same time too. You're giving them some exposure. You're hopefully driving traffic over their way and you're making them look like a hero. So guess what? Now you have a relationship that you could build off of. So another example of the one question roundup post, which is what I'm sort of calling this, uh, is a podcast that's coming out very soon, if not already available. It's actually coming out this week, the same week that this video goes live. So the link will be below. SPI, Smart Passive Income, episode 419, 23 entrepreneurs. I don't know, for whatever reason, odd numbers work or nice round numbers like 50. It doesn't really matter how many you get. Get a load and it will be massively valuable. 23 entrepreneurs answer, how do you run a business and raise kids at the same time? So me being a business owner and a person who works from home with a family, it's quite difficult. And I wanted to reach out because instead of just me sharing that information, I thought it'd be cool to get a collection of other people who are going through the same thing too. Because honestly, when it comes to raising kids and a business at the same time, everybody's experience is different, but we all need to band together and help each other out. The other thing just to point out about this particular episode here is that yes, it's very much specifically for parents or soon to be parents, but Number one, can you imagine how massively valuable that is, especially for somebody who's pregnant and about to have a baby and is running a business? But secondly, these niche within a niche within a niche type episodes do really well because people who fit that description, well, they share it with other people who they connect with who can resonate and relate to. So I would imagine, I don't know, because it's coming out later this week, but parents who listen to this, who resonate with all the 23 different entrepreneurs and their advice, will find other parents who are entrepreneurs and share it with them too. It's another one of those examples of the riches in the niches. The more you niche down, sometimes there's actually more riches there. And yes, I know it's pronounced niches, but it doesn't rhyme as well. Riches, riches in the niches. Riches, pieces. Okay, never mind. I'm done. So let's go over the simple steps that you need to take to make this happen too. Because yes, it does take a little bit of work, but I'm gonna lay out the steps for you one by one. Starting with step one, ask the right question. Just one question because it's easy to answer and it'll be compiled into this post or podcast or video. So on the screen now, I just kind of created this really quickly for you because I wanted to give you different examples. Uh, what's one thing you wish you knew before starting blank? That was the example that you saw. What's your number one top tip to help blank blank? So the niche blank. What's your number one top tip to help parents raise kids in a business, for example? Prediction. Predictions are always great, especially at the end of the year. People are very curious about what's going to be happening in the industry next. So for example, prediction 2021, top X blank, share the future. So then you can collect and compile these answers, put them all onto an episode uh, or a podcast or a video. And hey, that's massively valuable and interesting. Next, what's the biggest mistake you made as a blank? People love to hear the mistakes that other people have made. And finally, What's your favorite tool for blank? This one is one that I don't find goes as far as the others, but a lot of people love different tools, but everybody does the tool one. And so don't be a tool and use that one. You're not a tool. If anything, I'm the tool. You're, you're using me here on YouTube to, to, to make your business better. So I'm the tool, I'm the tool man, tool man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, step two, reach out and ask individuals, whether you know them or not, to answer this question. And again, because it's just one simple question, it becomes a very easy process. I'll show you how to collect that answer in just a moment, but reach out and ask. You can use e your email, your text messages, whatever you have access to. I reached out more recently on Twitter. As you can see here, I posted this uh, not too long ago. I'm looking for women who have babies or toddlers and running a business from home. Would love to feature you and a quick audio snippet from you in an upcoming SPI podcast episode. Let me know, I'll DM you if there's room. Thank you. Now, the reason in this particular case I was looking for women is because the people I reached out to were mostly men. And I think it's important that when you do these roundup posts, a lot of people don't talk about this, make them diverse. Men, women, different backgrounds. I think that's really important. Step number three, collect the answers. Now, how might you collect these answers? Well, if you're just gonna get written answers for something like a blog post or even a video, and then you wanna read these off instead of actually collecting a video or audio from that person, well, you can use something like a type form or simply just connect with them on a direct message or perhaps email. And to help you out, make sure to put these answers in a spreadsheet. That way it's easier for you to collate them, collect them, and then display them on your description or your blog later on. It's just much easier if you have a spreadsheet to help you through this process. Now, if you're collecting audio, I love the idea of using a tool such as speakpipe.com here. Speakpipe.com is where you'd wanna go. You set up an account and essentially you just send a link to somebody. So for example, if somebody goes to speakpipe.com slash Pat Flynn, you'll see that you can just simply record a quick audio file and it gets sent to me 
It turns into an MP3 file when I download it, and then I can just pop it right into my podcast episode or even within a video as well. And it's just super simple because I could just share with somebody a link. I don't have to schedule a call to then capture that audio. Now, if you do wanna help out a little bit, I do have an affiliate link for this. If you actually go to smartpassiveincome.com slash speakpipe, that is my affiliate link. So that's a referral code that uh, shows them that you purchased through me, which I get a little kickback for. Thank you in advance for that. That's no extra cost to you, but wanted to be upfront with that. So speakpipe.com, affiliate link is smartpassiveincome.com slash speakpipe. It's awesome. All right, next step four, you wanna take all the answers that come in and try to see if you can put some order to them because as you read them off in a podcast episode or display them on a blog, for example, you wanna have them grouped and make sense. Yes, it would work if they were just all compiled and sort of just random and that would work too. It'd still be highly valuable, but if you can group them, if you see any patterns, for example, uh, or you know different themes throughout the answers, then put those themes together and it's gonna be that much more structured and organized. Then step number five, you wanna create the asset. So let's say for example, for a podcast, you then have your intro, you drop in tip number one, and then I would recommend that actually you come back in, in between each of these tips. I think it's really important to do that because you become the glue that connects all these things together. So what does that do for you and your brand? It makes you the authority and the common factor here in connecting all these people together for the listener. That'll improve your exposure, your authority, and it can ultimately do nothing but help you. Plus, you're building a relationship with all the people you've interviewed or have brought on this show or collected tips from at the same time. It's a win for everybody. So yeah, create the asset. And then what I would recommend is build buzz for it. Before you publish it, which is step six, like before you go publish, and that's the sound you make when you publish, or I don't know what I'm doing right now. Anyway, just publish the thing, share it, Ask the people who are featured to share it. They're more likely to share it because they are part of it. So that's better than you just going, hey, friend, can you publish this blog post? And I don't know why my hands are like this, but you know, you're know, you not featured here, but can you share it for me? Yay. No, just be like, hey, here you were featured. I think your tip was awesome. If you could share it with your community, that'd be great. If not, no worries. And more often than not, you probably get a share. So there you go. The one question roundup. Team Flynn, I would love to ask you if you have a question in mind that would work really well for the one question roundup. That's really hard to say. The one question, one, qu- one question, equestrian, equestrian, one question roundup post. Leave it below in the comments to help everybody out. We can get and filter and find and crowdsource some ideas for everybody. The one question roundup post. What question do you have in mind that would be great to ask sort of your network or cohorts to bring into a post podcast or YouTube video to help out, to get more exposure, to get more traffic, to build authority, all the good things that we talked about. Let us know in the comments section below and like your favorite so we can upvote the ones that are great and hopefully yours can get picked too. So let me know below. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I would really much appreciate that because we got a lot of great stuff coming your way. Currently during this crisis, it's happening here in early 2020. I'm also going live every morning on my show, The Income Stream. Have you heard the song yet? This is The Income Stream. Okay, you're gonna have to watch to see the rest of it. But anyway, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern, every single morning here on YouTube to be there of service to help you, to answer your questions, to provide entertainment, to provide something regular for you. Make sure you hit subscribe and also that bell notification icon. And lastly, if you really liked this video, if you think it's helpful for you and you can get more traffic, you can get more exposure, hit that thumbs up button. That would be really, really key to help this video get even more exposure. Thank you in advance, I appreciate you. And uh, if you'd like to do me a quick favor, you can also click on this video right here. This is a new video that I think you should watch. It's very relevant to what is happening right now. And a lot of people have seen it and you should see it too. So click on that. Thank you and as always, Team Flynn for the win.